First diagnosed in the eastern United States in 1999, the often fatal West Nile virus is moving westward at an alarming rate of speed. A neurological disease of birds, horses, and people, West Nile virus was first diagnosed in New York State in 1999. Harbored in migrating birds and transmitted by mosquitoes, the disease spread down the east coast reaching Florida in 2001. Since then, it's moved rapidly across the country where it's infected hundreds of horses in 42 states. Although West Nile virus can cause illness and death in both horses and people, it typically circulates between mosquitoes and birds. The female mosquito ingests blood from an infected bird. The virus then multiplies in the mosquito's intestinal tract, travels to the salivary gland, and is injected into the next animal the mosquito feeds upon. Horses and people are dead end hosts, which means the disease can infect them, but cannot spread to other animals. And so neither you nor your horse can be infected by a horse suffering from West Nile encephalitis. A mosquito that has recently taken a blood meal from an infected bird is the only way the disease can be spread. The best hope for saving horses infected with West Nile virus is early detection and treatment. Next week we'll talk about clinical symptoms of the disease. For your horse's health, I'm Dr. Tom Lentz.